Hello everyone, welcome back to Switch Mania, your source for news, reviews, and gameplay on the Nintendo Switch. My name is Josh Newman, and today is Monday, so we're going to do a quick news recap covering all the different Switch news that came out throughout the week. So before we begin, just a couple of logistic things. Uh, first, you might notice that... Uh, this isn't our usual setup. Well, the reason why is because we're actually doing renovations to our room currently. And uh, so I apologize if the volume sounds a little echoey right now. This room is actually hollow besides me. There's nothing in here. Um, actually, before this, we had really nasty green floors. I expected to have this done by today, actually, but... We actually found that the underneath the green floors was actual wood floors. So rather than putting in a laminate flooring, we decided to sand it down and that obviously took a lot of time. And we still gotta get some polyurethane on here and get the walls painted. And so I'm hoping that by Friday, we'll kind of have our new setup going. We'll have a new, uh, new shelving behind me as well as the TV should be mounted behind me as well. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. But again, I want to apologize for any echoes you might hear today. It's just because the room is quite hollow. The second piece of logistics that I want to get out of the way is I wanted to get you guys kind of hyped about a video that's going to be coming up here in a couple of weeks. Uh, I went ahead and back in November ordered a pair of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Joy-Cons that were custom off of Etsy. So I am really excited to get that package here and get started. It's supposed to ship on January 2nd, so the, I think it takes about 10 days is what they said for the estimated delivery time. Hopefully it's shorter than that, but be on the lookout. Anywhere from January 2nd to the next 10 days after there, there may be a video coming with a custom Legend of Zelda Joy-Con review. And I'm really excited just to pull those things out and uh, review them for you guys. So, all right, with some logistics out of the way, let's go ahead and let's dive into some quick news. Basically, Nintendo actually came out with a short video that actually was celebrating some of the indie games that have been released for the Nintendo Switch this year. However, there was a couple of weird omissions, like Celeste was in the video, and where that was a Game of the Year nomination, it was kind of weird that that was missing. But that being said, it's really cool that Nintendo is continuing to support indie developers, continuing to bring out new Nindy games all the time. I've enjoyed quite a few of them. I know a couple of you guys have as well. So uh, looking forward to seeing what indie games come out in 2019. Feels kind of weird to say that. <laughs> we haven't actually heard about Bayonetta 3 in quite some time, but Actually, for the first time, it looks like we might have some news on Bayonetta 3. Nothing really definitive, but a potential announcement might be coming soon. And where this is coming from is Platinum Games executive producer actually came out and said that he's really excited about some of the games they're going to be bringing out in 2019 and that we should be expecting an announcement sometime soon. So fingers crossed that the announcement they're talking about is for Bayonetta 3, but who knows? It could be for any number of their other games. It's just, you know, we haven't really heard any new information about Bayonetta 3 since its trailer last year. And so it'd be really nice to get maybe a release date window, maybe for later 2019, early 2020, something along the lines. You know, I got the chance to play Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 for the very first time on my Nintendo Switch. And starting off Bayonetta 1, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but I quickly got invested in that story and now that I'm invested in that story after playing the first two games I'm really excited to see where they take it from here so fingers crossed Bayonetta 3 announcement comes sometime soon. Speaking of announcements that we've been getting really hyped for the Persona 5 R thing I think I've mentioned this in the last three videos I've had well it turns out that they did finally drop a trailer on the website and it's for PlayStation so far. There's no Switch confirmation whatsoever. However, this does not have me discouraged at all. You know, I knew that whatever game they're bringing out, Persona 5 R, Reloaded, whatever you want to call it, I knew that was going to come to PlayStation 2 because it's been on Sony systems since the beginning. However, it would make sense that Nintendo would want to announce this game at one of their directs. So the fact that this, the trailer came out and it just says that it's for Sony does not discourage me right now. Not to mention that they haven't really released any details about the game. The trailer that they released basically said that more information would be coming out in March this year. So. You know, we got to be waiting till March to kind of figure out what this game's all going to be about. But that doesn't mean that Nintendo in one of their directs in January might not come out and say something about, hey, by the way, be on the lookout for Persona 5R coming to Switch. 
they won't necessarily release any of the details of the game till March, but it'd be a really cool way for Nintendo to be like, yeah, by the way, we did get Persona 5 R. So like I said, the fact that the trailer says Sony right now doesn't dissuade me at all. I think that Persona 5 R will come to the Switch. It only makes sense with Joker coming to Smash Bros that it comes to the Switch in some form or manner. So again, fingers crossing that we get an announcement for that sometime soon. And the last bit of news that I've got for you guys is kind of a shocking one and kind of came out of the blue this week. And that is that The Witcher 3 might possibly be coming to the Nintendo Switch. And this seems like almost impossible that this could be coming to Switch, but basically a French retailer listed it on their website and it apparently seems legitimate. You know, I don't know too much about the logistics of this posting, but you know, Spawn Wave and a bunch of other news sources seem to think that this might be a legitimate posting based off of what the French retailer was posting other than just The Witcher 3. And so they have a good feeling that this might actually be a leak of some sort. So that's really, really cool that Witcher 3 might be coming to the Switch. If it is coming to the Switch, my only hope would be the panic button is bringing it because panic button would do it right. They would, you know, lower the graphics in the areas that they needed to. You know, we've seen them do so many other great games, games that we didn't think could run on the Nintendo Switch, like Wolfenstein 2 and Skyrim and all these other great games that, you know, that they ported over. So it's very possible that if panic button is the one to port Witcher 3, that this could turn out really awesome. Well, there you guys have it. There's all the new news for the Nintendo Switch this week. There wasn't too much new news just because of the fact that I think the holidays were going on, but still some really big points going on. We got Bayonetta 3 potentially being announced, The Witcher 3 may be coming to the Switch, and potentially Persona 5 R still. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you think that Persona 5 R is only coming to PlayStation? Witcher 3 coming to Switch, not coming to Switch? And Bayonetta 3, do you think we're gonna get an announcement sometime soon? If you like this video, definitely hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're really close to 200 subscribers at this moment at 198. So it'd be really kind of nice to get up to 200 before the new year. So if you could help me out by hitting that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys next time here on Switch Mania.